board, move the hands of the doomsday clock forward, largely, though not exclusively, because of the mounting dangers in the war in Ukraine. We move the clock forward the closest it has ever been to midnight. It is now 90 seconds to midnight. Nuclear risks increased significantly last year, due largely to Russia's unprovoked invasion of Ukraine. Putin has repeatedly raised the specter of nuclear use. In launching the invasion, he's, he warned that whoever tries to hinder us should know that Russia's response will be immediate and will lead to consequences you have never faced in your history. A few days later, he ordered Russia's nuclear forces to special combat duty. In announcing the annexation of Ukrainian territories in September, Putin declared that he would defend them with all weapon systems available to us. This is not a bluff. And in case anyone missed the reference to nuclear weapons, he mentioned that Hiroshima and Nagasaki had set a precedent. Doomsday Clock uh, has been around for a number of decades. Uh, it uh, emerged at the beginning of the Cold War to uh, to give a sense of the urgency uh, to achieve nuclear disarmament and to climb out of the abyss that we were facing in the early 1950s. And uh, in more recent times, it has taken on climate change and uh, emerging disruptive technology to uh, to give an, a sense of uh, the um, the risks, the catastrophic risks that we face uh, as a planet, uh, largely through our own uh, deliberate uh, activities.
Oh, <laughs>